I was standing in front of rabbis, I was standing in front of my family, I was standing in front of my financial situation and reality, I was standing and confronting myself and my own fears and my parents' opinions, and I was facing all of them. And I said to myself, okay, what are you going to choose? There was one thing that couldn't move away from my eyes. It was your souls. It was the souls that are seeking for the Creator. And I asked my rabbi, I went to him and I asked him, I told him, is it true, my conclusion, is it right, that in all of those wonderful 12 years that you taught me, that you were teaching me, you told me one main thing, that I need to go and rescue all of Am Israel to save Lachzir et Kol Olam Kulo B'Tshuva, to bring all of the world back to Hashem? So he told me, yes, that was his answer. I asked him, is the bottom line of all of those 12 years was that I supposed to bring all of the world back to Hashem? He answered, yes. Maybe he was wrong. Maybe he regrets saying that. But that's what he said. He said, yes. So I told him, so now, even if you're going to tell me to stop, I'm not going to stop. I'm going to go and bring them all back to Hashem. No matter what will happen, I'm going with your torch to shine the world, to illuminate the world with what that you taught me. That that is my mission in life. That that is my goal. And guys, I'm going to do that. I'm not backing off. I'm doing it. And not because I'm special. Just because I'm crazy. I'm going all the way. I'm not afraid to die. I'm not afraid of poverty. I'm not afraid to suffer. I've been through all of those things already. I died so many times. I was so poor so many nights. I was so broken. I was so sad. I was so depressed. I literally was, I, I killed myself so many times. I died so many times. I sacrificed myself so many times already that I know that not, like nothing can happen. Like, if Hashem wants me to stay alive, so nothing will kill me. And with that inner faith that I have in myself, that I understand it, I know what Hashem wants for me. It's obvious, it's clear for me what Hashem wants. If you still have doubts what Hashem wants from you, okay, go ask Him until you will know. But if I see that people from the four wings of the earth are calling and, and reaching out to us and sending emails, hey, you saved my life. I light candles in my own house. I'm singing in front of the Hanukkah and you have thousands and thousands of people that are saying thank you, thank you, thank you. What was I doing? I want to ask you something else. What is the purpose of us lighting the Hanukkah? that the light will shine to the outside, to the dark places. So if I'm lighting my Hanukkah, and you have only on Facebook more than 3,500 views, means 3,500 families that saw the light of my Hanukkah. <coughs> so I was for sure doing something right. Because that's the purpose of the Hanukkah. To turn on the light, that the light will shine into the darkness, to the outside. And if we're receiving messages from people that are saying, Wow, thank you. Now I feel I have a family. Now I feel I'm not alone. Thank you. Now I feel I have a hug, a holy day. Now I feel connected. Thank you for sharing. So what's going on? That's the redemption. And what are we doing that is so special? Except of trying just to do our best for the benefit of our brothers and sisters. Just to be there for every soul. For the ones that don't know how to turn on the Hanukkah. To turn on the lights of the Hanukkah, the candles. For the ones that don't have a clue about Judaism. They don't understand at all how to talk to the Creator that it's even possible. Except of just sharing with who that we really are. There's nothing more to it. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks. husks.